Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. It is a pleasure to be able to bring you these corn videos. In today's video, we're gonna actually narrow this thing down between the three cornfields I've got, and we're gonna learn something amazing. As you know, I've got the three cornfields. I've got this one that has clover growing in it. I've got one over on the other side of the property that had amazing crimson clover in it. And then I've got also a field that had clover, but then it turned basically into a grass sod. We mowed it and we plowed it under. So this field right here, there's a great misunderstanding that the clover that's in this field is going to feed this current crop, and that's not true. The clover that's in this field will feed next year's crop. So as you can imagine, this corn is slightly yellow. It was even more yellow than this. We've gone through and we put nitrogen on it, so it's going to start getting greener. Right over here, we've got the corn that is growing right where my silage pile was, and that is quite green and beautiful. We're expecting with the coming rain that we're gonna do better. Now, it has been extremely dry, and I know that in the recent videos, we talked about how wet it was, but that was several weeks ago. And when it's getting up in the high 90s, it don't take long to dry out, especially a field like this with all this competition. But it's looking like it's going to make it. I believe we're going to have a crop. Next year, we're going to find out if red clover does as good a nitrogen placement as crimson clover. I'm hoping it does because the crimson clover corn is amazing. Let's go look at it right now. All right, this here is the field that is the culmination of what I have. It's everything I've been trying to get. Unbelievably good corn growth, dark green, without using any fertilizer. This here was crimson clover. To be honest with you, we grew corn in that field last year. Last year I planted it July the 21st. It came in just in time to make silage before frost. But this year we got it out well in advance of that. We planted it in May. So what I am discovering is it is the same color and the same quality as the corn that we put the 20 bags of triple 19 on, which I'm fixing to take you and show you now. That 20 bags of triple 19 cost me right around $527, something like that. This is about the same amount of corn as that. So that clover cost me, it was two bags of crimson clover. I paid around 90 bucks a piece. So we're looking like $180 versus $527 without the labor of spreading the fertilizer and without the unhealthiness to the soil of the chemical fertilizer, you've got unbelievable results with crimson clover. I can't emphasize it enough how much I am just sold on this crop. You can guarantee I will be planting crimson clover again. Now I've got red clover right now that my brother-in-law grew up in Alberta. I'm going to be trying it out as well and seeing if we have similar results. But for now, I'm a definitely 100% sold on crimson clover. Let's go look at the other field. Okie dokie, here is the crop that we put the triple 19 on. It was yellow, it was purple, it looked awful. It wasn't gonna make anything. So we got in here and put the triple 19 on it. It has restored its color. It's growing fast, vigorously. Pretty happy about it. The purple stock, according to Farm All Fanatics, thank you very much. We were lacking phosphorus. That is what we were lacking. The reason why the purple stalks. So, Triple 19 had plenty of that, plenty of nitrogen. So, this field is going to get a lot of clover in it this fall. We got to try to fix this problem. So, phosphorus doesn't leave your soil very quickly when you put it in there. Nitrogen is what leaves quickly. So, we may have to do some phosphorus next year, but I'm hoping to get that nitrogen fixed with clover. But this here is some good corn. As you can see, it's quite a bit taller than me. The other field was taller than me as well, but not quite as tall as this, which not all this is the same height, but it's growing good. So the corn in my good patch back there that I didn't have to fertilize is the crossbred corn of the white trucker's favorite and the yellow Guatemalan. I am really excited to see what that field makes. I really am. This here is purebred Guatemalan. Gonna keep that alive. 
and then we have some pure truckers back at the other field so this video is intended to be educational for you and help you to decide do i want to spend 180 dollars on clover and get this field right naturally and cheaply or do i want to just throw chemical fertilizer on it and be done with it that's a that's a decision you'll have to make for yourself but for me i kind of like the clover you have to think further in advance you got to prepare this year for next year but wow is it ever worth it i'm sold on it so hope you enjoyed the video we're going to get on out of here we hope you have a great day we'll see you on the next video